Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, one of the things that Kenyans have realized to do as far as our politics is concerned is to unite together and reject William Ruto because he's no longer the president for the people who is going to work for the people, but an oppressor of the people. And uh, this journey has started in uh, Rift Valley and Mount Kenya. And I know it is going to spread across the country. As of late, we have seen Kiambu leaders uniting across the political uh, parties and they coming out openly to criticize William Samuel Ruto on high cost of living. We talk about the issue to do with the uh, new taxes they want to introduce even on animals, on birds. You talk about the issue of uh, bringing back the house levy. Now they want to tax everyone, including Mamamboga. They are talking about all this, and the only thing they are asking for is William Ruto to come down, that Zakayo should come down, and if he don't come down, we are going to cut down that tree by power saw. So it's either you come down or we cut this tree. Tume auna mambo imeenda ikikuwa gumu zaidi. Turi wakati wa campaign, tulipewa promise kuwa beya mafuta itateremka. The first statement bada ya kuweka kitabu chini na kuchukua hile upanga about miambiwa siyo ya kukatakata sukuma wiki. Kitu ya kwanza ilifanya ni kutoa, ni kupadisha beya ya mafuta. Tumeona uongo imekuwa mingi diyo na tuongoza. Uongo ni mingi kuringo ukweli. Na tukiangaria bela tunaona ile mambo ambao inakuja diyo ata gumu zaidi. Tunasikia siku hizi wameleta bill kwa bunge ambayo ikipitishwa. Nikiwa na kuku kwa nyumba, nitakuwa nikiripia kuku shiriki ya msini kila mwaka ili nikuwe na kuku kwangu nyumbani. Nikiwa na ngombe, nitakuwa nikiripia ngombe elfu moja kwa mwaka ili nikuwe na hiyo ngombe kwangu nyumbani. Hii mambo imekuwa, ime, imeenda, imepita zaidi. Sasa hii mambo ya affordable housing. Tukaambua kila mtu ambaye anafanya kazi atakuwa kilipa 1.5%. Ikapadilisho ikatowa kutoka kwa lefi, ikakuwa ni tax. Sasa nasikia imerudi kwa bunge tena. Irudishwe ili hata yule mama bogo walikuwa halipi, atakuwa kilipa 1.5%. Mutu wa boda boda atakuwa kilipa 1.5%. Yule yule alidaganyo akaambiwa ati hii serikali ni yake. Na bimi nauliza leo. Kwa sababu kontrola wa budget, alitua bia katika state house. Kwa, kwa wakati wa muda wa miezi ine, wana wametumia 531 million kwa hiyo nyumba, kupika chai na kukura madazi. Hiyo mambo tunaambiwa mimi na ita ni filosofi ya kule shakahora. Hile mahib, mahubiri tunapewa ni kama hile ya shakahora. Ati kwanza tujiuwe leo, hili kesho tukue na maisha mazuri. Na sisi tunasema hivi, tunataka maisha mazuri sasa... Na tunataka maisha mazuri even in future. Lakini sio tujiwe uwe sasa ili tukue na maisha mazuri ya kesho. Tumekutana kama viongozi wa hapa mlima baadhi yetu ambao tuko hapa na wengine ambao pia wametumia wametuma apologies. Na tumesema kutoka leo tuko na declaration yetu ya kwamba kama watu wa mlima mwanzo kama wewe ulikuwa pande ya Azimio ama pande ya UDA wale walidanganywa wale walidanganyika sisi tumeona uh, light sasa na tumesemba tutashikana declaration number one, wale watu ambao wote wanatuhusu serikali ni lazima iwa, iwalinde kwa sababu wako na insecurity kama kule pande ya lamu na kama hawatafanya hivyo watu wa mlima wako tayari kufanya maandamano kutetea watu yetu. Hakuna kunyonyesha mtu matumu, uh, maini hapa. Haya ya tatu. Tumesema namna hii wale hasula wote ambao wako hapa wamekataa katakata kulipa 1.5% housing levy. Kwa sababu hiyo inakuja kuwanyanyasa. Ya ya nne ya kwamba watu wetu wamekataa hiyo kodi wanataka kuleta ya kulipia paka na panya na ngombe e kodi ati ndio waweze kusivuga tunajua hawa wana target watu wetu na hatutuka kutukabali
enough is enough. And we don't want your liberation. We have decided to liberate ourselves. And the starting time is now. now. The starting time is now. Nyote mumbakubali tuwaze safari. Ya kutimue hii jamaa na tusumua. Ni wangabi wanasema tumutimue. Kama mbaya mbaya mbaya. Utashuka kwa muti. Kama hautoki, tutakata huo muti na pawa. Now we are continuing this panga discussion by just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Amasa, thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now Mount Kenya is coming out clear that it is time to liberate ourselves and the journey starts now. Safari ya kumtimua William Samoei Ruto imeanza. Na kama yeye anaona ni kama ndoto, basi aendelee kuona ndoto. But the time will come when he will know that is a reality. Of course, at one point it was popular in Mount Kenya region to associate with William Ruto. It looked popular, it looked nice. It was one of the guaranteed ticket for you to win election. He was that much popular. But it has reached a time when things have turned. And now, it is unpopular in Mount Kenya region right now when you are associating with William Ruto. You look awkward and you look like a betrayer, an enemy of the people. So, those who are supporting William Ruto by that time are feeling ashamed to come and eh, talk about the good thing Ruto is doing or defend William Ruto. It is unpopular. But it is popular as of now in Mount Kenya region if you are rejecting William Ruto. The new wave is coming. The man who was popular is now demeaning and what is popular is the rejection of William Root. That's why you see it is not only Jubilee Party, they are all parties across in the Mount Kenya region. Now it is in Kiambu, it will be elsewhere. They are coming together, uniting to say no to William Root, reject his policies and plan a sense of political direction in the masses. And what is their position? This man must go. So, the popularity of William Ruto is diminishing. He said that he is the way to climb the mountain. <laughs> and he was bragging about that. But now the opposite is happening. He is no longer going to be the way to climb the mountain. And uh, Ruto is being forced to climb down even the mountain. We know very well that Jubilee is also using um, these failures in Kenya Kwanza, of course, to rally behind the people to come back to the party and uh, make a very strong decision, a strong political statement that they have to reject William Ruto. So Jubilee is also using this opportunity to send a clear message to the people. That's why you see, we have Jubilee also members that are there. And of course, it is just the right time to do so. You talk about the new taxes they want to bring. I think this is the right time to come out and criticize this government for that. You talk about the issue of paying taxes on uh, the number of cows you have. 1,000 per cow. Per chicken, you will pay 60 shillings. So there are so many things. And Mount Kenya is feeling that they have been targeted in one way or another. So they are not ready to pay these taxes. So use this opportunity to teach people what they have to know about William Ruto. So the good news is that the regions that supported William Ruto overwhelmingly they are also leading in rejection of the same man. So the same people who put you in power 
are the same people seemingly who are going to remove you from that power. That is the conclusion in this video. And you can see. Tell me today, anywhere you have seen any leader in Mount Kenya region, even those elected on UDA ticket, apart from Akenakemani Shungwa, Lindy Nyoro, who are serving in uh, leadership positions in the National Assembly. Tell me any other leader who is coming out to defend Hutu in Mount Kenya. No leader is comfortable to go that direction. And we have some who saw the light long time ago. Others are now joining in. So it is time to liberate yourself. It is true. And this liberation should start now. Educate people to understand their struggle and the problem where it's coming from. Before it was very easy for William Ruto and Gashagwa to get to Mount Kenya region and tell the people that the problem we are in now is because of Guru Kenyatta. That he left with money. Money was carried in the choppers. <laughs> it was selling by that time. And uh, Gashagwa at any given point he can easily use such kind of statement. Right now. No one can buy into that lie. No wonder now they are silent on that. They cannot speak about it. So it has been long overdue and the lie cannot be sustained anymore. The truth is coming out and the people can see. Size in Christmas, they have nothing to celebrate about. They don't have even money for, for organizing any party. They don't have money even for the school fees. The overtaxing is on large scale. It is continuing. So the only thing remaining here is to say, Ruto and your policy, you must go. <laughs> so if Gashagwa was busy fighting for a space to become the next Mount Kenya kingpin, he should know that cannot happen when he's still supporting William Ruto. The only way to do that is to denounce Ruto, get out of UDA, and be with the people. As long as you want to enjoy the power, privileges in the government, and you think you can become the next kingpin of Mount Kenya region, it will not work. So the message is also clear to Gashagwa. In as much you are fighting to become the kingpin, the revolution is now on ground, and rejection has started. And the people who are really leading this rejection are your own people. So I don't know which people you will be taking to William Ruto, or you will be thinking to bring together and be their kingpin.